All right, what's going on guys, it's Light here, and I want to sit there and personally thank you guys for 3,000 subscribers. Actually, a little over 3K, we're almost at 3,010. And the thing is, is actually, I'm actually quite surprised. Like, just in general, the goal was to try to hit 3,000 subscribers before the end of the year, and also just before Sparking Zero, since I learned about that game releasing at some point in October. But what I'm actually about to do, I'm about to do a nice little simple Q&A, one that's gonna be not really taken seriously because there's some very goofy simple questions and such like one that does exist that there would that i would talk about was what thing was like one divided by zero or something like that so we're gonna answer that when we get to that but anyways our first question is and such is favorite anime and least favorite anime this was asked by absol absolution and to be honest with you favorite anime wise though it kind of fluctuates a little bit there used to be an anime i used to watch growing up mostly for nostalgia reasons it was called magician cat girl or something like that and that, that was what i kind of grew up with and such when i was like i think five or six years old until I was introduced to Dragon Ball Z from my uncle. He was the one who int introduced me to Dragon Ball Z and I literally could not sleep at all because I was binging every single episode. But to answer that, Dragon Ball Z is my favorite anime. Least favorite anime, I'll be honest with you. This is about to be something a lot of people may not like. It's Naruto. But anyways, the next question is, what is the most challenging thing story-wise in both of your projects? So for those who doesn't know, I am working on two different anime stories. We have the Legacy of the Gemini's and the Black magic mage called magic but um, i would say the challenging thing dealing with both of those or just the stories in general is just basically trying to make sure make make everything make sense make interesting characters trying to do world building almost nearly everything can be challenging but if i had to pick well i actually don't even know that is actually a really good question what do i consider the most challenging i just roblox more than anything that's it like i got the ideas and stuff it's just i gotta make sure the execution is right that, so that that's the answer so then we got our next question. What is one divided by zero? Zero, right? I think. And then the next question, what's your favorite anime? So we kind of already answered it. Dragon Ball Z. What inspired you to start this channel? Okay, so what inspired me to start this channel was mostly because I used to watch a lot of Minecraft content. I actually theoretically did actually upload videos back in 2015 and 2016. I, mean, I don't think 2017, but those were the two years I did upload, but I never actually edit videos or anything like that at all because I didn't understand how none of that stuff worked. I didn't even know like how to go about with it. So I would just record and just kind of just upload it to YouTube and stuff, and that's really about it. And I actually started off with Minecraft videos. That was during an era where I was actually between the ages of 14 years old up to the age of, I think, 16, where I kind of did a lot of that stuff. Anyways, next question. How old are you? I have a video and stuff on this channel stating my age of me being 25 years old. I turned 25 on June 17th. Next question. If you had a million in cash, what would you spend it on? Honestly, if I had a million, a lot of that is going to go straight to the projects I'm working on. And I probably will also move out this country as well, too, because I don't want to live in the United States for long. I do plan on trying to move out as such at some point. Next question. When will you make Roblox videos? Well, here's the thing. I've already had Roblox videos on the channel. I played Roblox tours. And to say something else revolving around that question, I just gotta find something that really, really piques my interest that I actually think could be like, yeah, let's make a video on this. Heavy Devi said, who the heck are you? Cause I'm not saying the H word. No, no H, uh, H E double hockey stick. You keep popping up in my feed and somehow I'm subscribed. I don't even remember subscribing. P.S. Your avatar is hot. A lot of people tell me that. That's the thing. A lot of a lot of people tell me my avatar is really cute, hot. Yeah, that's a thing. Just don't don't say stuff like that if you're not an adult. Remember, I am an adult. Okay, just look, just pointing it, pointing it out right now. But what I will say though is that I don't know why I'm popping up in your feed. I, I can't answer that. You have a mix of a question and a statement. But yeah, I hope that answers your question. Have you ever tried other some other gacha games? What are they and what are your opinions on them? What's your opinion on indie games? Some examples being FNAF, Undertale, Indigo Park, etc. Okay, to be honest with you, that's a lot of questions and stuff like that for one thingy, but, I will, but I'm fine with this. Cause this, this is the first Q&A, so I'm, I'm not good with these things. So let's see here. Favorite gacha game, uh, like Happy Wars still has its fair share. It still has its like little favoritismal spot and such, because I mean, I played it growing up ever since I was 14 years old. So 
there's some bias right there revolving around that game. And then Happy Dungeons, when that used to be around, I actually really like that gotcha game as well, too. The dungeon crawler and such. Very, very fun. Wish that game can come back. Toy Logic is not bringing that game back at all. If they did, I'll buy an Xbox again and make videos on it. Um, but Unison League is kind of the thing that's really taking up the spot more than anything, though, because I can't find anything else that feels like Happy Dungeons that I treat like Happy Dungeons. to kind of fill in that gaping hole in my heart. They also shut the game down on my birthday as well, too. June 17, 2019. I'm sorry for my rambling and stuff like that, but that's all the questions for today. If you guys did enjoy today's video, why don't you leave a like, subscribe if you guys are new around here, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any new videos just like this one, and remember that Jesus loves you guys, and I'm Light, and I'll see you guys next time.